good morning. This morning, I would like to talk a little bit about volunteering. I have been volunteering for the Red Cross, and recently we had Hurricane Matthew sweep across these regions, and since I'm in North Carolina, I'm helping with all the flood victims and the sheltering, sorting out of goods, and all of that. Well, also, I just decided to, you know, be on the Red Cross list for whatever they need help with, and they want me to dress up as Scrubby Bear today. Scrubby Bear. Now, I think Scrubby Bear is supposed to be a hygiene bear, and I think we teach the kids, like, how to clean yourself or something. I, but guess what? I'm dressing up as a big old bear, and I'm called Scrubby Bear, so that should be fun. Um, I've had so many freaking issues just trying to get uh, directions out there. My GPS decided today, today, I'm not going to know where you're at. So I would tell it to take me somewhere and it would say, start on this road. And I'm like, not even close to it. You know what I mean? And I keep driving and driving and it wouldn't go anywhere. It would just keep saying, go to this road. I'm like, I don't know where it is. That's why I'm asking you for help. So I breathed and um, I think I figured it out how I'm going to get there. But it's just been a very stressful morning. But I'm not going to let that get me down. Scrubby Bear ain't going to get angry. So, wish me luck. And I will tell you how it goes afterwards. All right, bye. So it turns out that I was a hygiene bear. Um, they had a song that they sang about washing your hands. And then I came out for like three minutes, maybe five, and hugged the children. Now, this was really difficult for me because I didn't get to talk at all. I was a bear, like Chuck E. Cheese, and you don't speak. You just sit there, and this head of it was huge, like such a huge head. I tried to take a couple selfies, but my arm wouldn't go out far enough so that I could see. So you got pictures of my, well, look. And the best part about it is that some of the kids were so like, oh my God, I love you, Scrubby Bear. And they were hugging me, hugging me, hugging me. And there's the ones that are like, ah, I hate you. That made my day. Not to terrify children, but you know, I got the best of both worlds. So the funny, funny, best part about it is that there was this lovely little lady. I'll say that she was in this senior age and she had played Scrubby a lot, but she would would not stop talking. She was just that blah, 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 blah. Four kids. Four kids. And mothers. Oh my God. Really devoted to that. That one lady, I can't remember what her name is, but big, heavy set. And, blah, blah. and so, yeah, it was a very great experience. See, these are the things that I do. And guess what, you guys? Volunteering. It's a actually, it's actually a selfish thing because I volunteer, but I'm the one that's feeling good afterwards. Like, I didn't really, you know, I don't know. It just, it makes you feel really good. So go to your redcross.org, go to volunteer.com, do what you can. I mean, help somebody who's in need, give them an hour or two. It makes you feel so good. And it kind of guarantees my little spot in heaven, I think. So selfish, whatever, I'm doing it. Thank you for watching.